Restore photographs in seconds in Photoshop 2023 with this awesome new technique. Start by opening your file in Photoshop and then come to image, image size. Double check your resolution. Generally, you will want a higher resolution, 300 PPI or above, but with higher resolution comes a higher file size and the filters will take more time to work. So bear that in mind. Press OK. So with the photograph open, go to filter, neutral filters. If this is your first time using the neutral filters, you will need to download them beforehand. You can do this by simply selecting the filter and pressing download. So the two we're going to use are Photo Restoration and Colorize. So let's start with Photo Restoration. Click the filter and slide on the filter. So in the Photo Restoration filter, we have three choices. We can enhance the photo, we can enhance the face, and we can also try to reduce the number of scratches on the photo. So one at a time, play around with these sliders and give Photoshop enough time to process the image. You can also click Adjustments, play around with noise reduction and other options. Once I've played around with the photo restoration options, I can now come over to my colorize filter, simply click it and turn on the filter. Photoshop will automatically auto color the image. So if you want to use this automatic option, you can, but if not, you can uncheck it and then you can play around with these options below. You can manually use the sliders to change things like saturation and the color balance, or you can select a profile that has preset specifications and color adjustments. So I'm gonna turn on the auto color image, and then maybe then I'll add a little bit of saturation and I'll reduce the noise a little bit. So once I'm happy with this, come to output, select new layer mask, and then simply click okay. Once you come back into Photoshop, your new layer will have now been created. Now this isn't totally flawless, you will still see some imperfections with the photo that you can go back in and change with things like the spot healing brush but if we do a side-by-side -side comparison there's the original and there's the restored photo and I think that's pretty amazing results from just using filters so there you have it that's an amazing new feature in Photoshop to restore old black and white damaged photos from the click of a button and a few sliders so I really hope you found this tutorial helpful hope it saves you a lot of time and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching keep on designing and I'll see you for the next tutorial.